Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of God's Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to go ahead and read you a chapter from the Bible. Today I will be continuing the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 42. Then he brought me forth into the utter court, the way toward the north, and he brought me into the chamber that was over against the separate place, and which was before the building toward the north. Before the length of an hundred cubits was the north door, and the breadth was fifty cubits. Over against the twenty cubits which were for the inner court, and over against the pavement which were for the utter court, was gallery against gallery in three stories. And before the chambers was a walk of ten cubits breadth inward, a way of one cubit, and their doors toward the north. Now the upper chambers were shorter, for the galleries were higher than these, than the lower, and than the middlemost of the building. For they were in three stories, but had not pillars as the pillars of the courts. Therefore the building was straightened more than the lowest, and the middlemost from the ground. And the wall that was without over against the chambers toward the utter court, on the fore part of the chambers, the length thereof was fifty cubits. For the length of the chambers that were in the utter court were fifty cubits, and lo, before the temple were a hundred cubits. And from under these chambers was the entry on the east side, as one goeth into them from the utter court. The chambers were in the thickness of the wall of the court toward the east, over against the separate place, and over against the building. And the way before them was like the appearance of the chambers which were toward the north, as long as they, and as broad as they, and all their goings out were both according to their fashions, and according to their doors. And according to the doors of the chambers that were toward the, the south was a door in the head of the way, even the, the way directly before the wall toward the east, as one entereth into them. Then said he unto me, The north chambers and the south chambers, which are before the separate place, they be holy chambers, where the priests that approach the lo unto the Lord shall eat the most holy things. There shall they lay the most holy things, and the meat offering, and the sin offering, and the trespass offering, for the place is holy. When the priests enter therein, they shall, then shall they not go out of the holy place into the utter court, but there they shall lay their garments wherein they minister, for they are holy, and shall put on other garments, and shall approach to those things which are for the people. Now when he had made an end of measuring the inner house, he brought me forth toward the gate whose prospect is toward the east, and measured it round about. He measured the east with the measuring reed, five hundred reeds with the measuring reed round about. He measured the north side, five hundred reeds with the measuring reed round about. He measured the south side, five hundred reeds with the measuring reed. He turned about to the west side and measured five hundred reeds with the measuring reed. He measured it by the four sides. It had a wall round about, five hundred reeds long and five hundred broad, to make a separation between the sanctuary and the profane place. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now Ezekiel 42 is a continuation of the, the vision of that Ezekiel is receiving from God regarding the construction of a potential temple. And um, if, for that reason, I don't want to offer any more analysis of this chapter. Instead, I want to go ahead and read you a chapter from the Bible. Today, we will be continuing the Sermon on the Mount, this time with Matthew chapter, well not continuing, I, I didn't read it in the last yesterday's video. I will be reading this part of the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew chapter 7. Judge not that ye be not judged, for with what judgment ye judge ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. 
Or what man is there of you, whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth forth not bringeth every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heard these things of mine and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Praised be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Such a beautiful, such a beautiful um, passage. One of my favorites is this passage here, okay, and I want to go ahead and discuss this because of how impactful this one is to me today and you know one of the things when i read the bible i don't always know like pick the chapter if i, if I read the current day's chapter very like and it's under like five minutes or something i read a different chapter right i don't always know which chapter i'll read and i don't always know what verse will have meaning to me that day but this verse has great meaning to me i write in my gospel that through the tests of my life like the phoenix from the flames, I have emerged as the perfect spirit of God. And I didn't use that word for a long time. I didn't call myself perfect because I didn't know, you know, was I perfect? Because to say you're perfect means that you are not only like you are literally existing without any sin whatsoever. And if you read the Bible, that's a very rare thing. You know, it's not like you're going from page to page and just reading perfect men all over the place. No. In fact, the Bible is full of people rebelling against God from the time of Genesis to the, you know, the damnations that on the, at the great white throne judgment that will come for the, uh, the sinners uh, in the book of Revelation. So what we see here is this verse here really stood out to me in terms of here what it says. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. I am a good tree. I have become the perfect spirit of God. And something that worried me for some time was my first son, Lord Jesus Christ, he is perfect himself, right? And I didn't necessarily know that, you know, if this was something like because he was God, that's why he, you know, he doesn't have original sin. He, he was obviously a good man and is a good man. That was, he is a good man sitting now at the right hand of the father. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. That is Matthew 7, 18. I'm a good tree. I'm perfect now. Not just like good, I'm perfect. And that give this verse today 
has given me faith that, you know, don't be worried about my, you know, my children. Keep going on the path that I am one day at a time. And um, because this is the word of Lord Jesus Christ. And I have faith in him when he says, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. So if I'm perfect, how will my fruit be evil? It will be good, as Lord Jesus Christ says. And that meant a lot to me to read this today. So with that, I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's daily drive video. Since yesterday's daily drive video, I worked myself for a developer job, and I have created this daily drive video for uh, 4924. And with no further achievements since yesterday's daily drive video, I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Light be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.